We're about to wear it in three, two, one. Boom, we are now wearing our own hat. <laughs> Jack from Jack in the Blocks. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your own hat and wear it in Roblox. So let's get right into it. First off, what you're going to do is you're going to go to is what you're going to do is you're going to go to the catalog and you're going to find the hat that you want to create. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to accessories, hats. You probably already knew how to do that though. So let's go and find a good one. I like these. There are 800 Robux and not everyone gets that much Robux. Not everyone can get that much because a lot of people are poor like me. So let's get it. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into Roblox Studio, which I already have open because I recorded this before and it didn't save. So that really stinks, but we can do it again. So I already have the decals and everything that I'm gonna use. So, so the video is gonna be a lot faster. So, and I'm guessing that's what you guys really want actually. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the toolbox and you're gonna select what you wanna wear. So eight bit headphones. Once you find the 8-bit headphones, you're just gonna plop them in. So, the originals. That's not the originals. <laughs> okay, this is basically the original. It's just a different color. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over to the handle, mesh, and in the mesh, you're going to go to properties. So by clicking file, then click these line, the four lines with the little blue circle up there, that is properties. But if you have text, then it's just gonna say properties right there. So you're gonna click that, and in the texture ID, you're gonna right click these numbers. You're gonna get these numbers right here, Command C. Then you're gonna come over to your browser and see these numbers right here in the catalog, you're gonna hold Command V. And then you're gonna click Enter and it's gonna send you straight to the texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click that and save that image. Now I already have one, so I'll be right with you when I am in Pixel R to edit the image. All right, I'm in Pixlr and I have the image loaded in. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the layer, which this isn't supposed to be like a photo, like a Pixlr slash Photoshop tutorial. This isn't supposed to be a tutorial like that. So I'm just gonna do a really quick thing and show you how to change the colors. So you're gonna duplicate it by going Command D. Um, I mean, not Command D, you're gonna right click it and do duplicate. And then on the copy, you're gonna go over to this wand tool and select the uh, image that like the part you're trying to change and arg, arg, ah, oh my ah, i can't change this there we go there we go i'm actually gonna kill myself okay <laughs> you're gonna select what you want to change go down to here and change the color to whatever you want i'm gonna go with a bright green then we're gonna go over to this brush and color in that. And we now have changed it to a green color. And that looks really bad, but honestly, I don't care. Look up a better tutorial because this is not supposed to be a pixel art tutorial. But I'm gonna change all the whites to green. So, yeah. And then I'm going to change this white. And then I'm going to change the white down here to green. Ah, okay, done with our texture. I'm gonna use a different texture. I'm just showing you how to change the texture. So yeah, cause I'm not waiting another 50, 30 minutes for the picture to freaking load it. Okay, there. Okay, so now you just have to go to file, save, and save it as whatever you want. And then you're gonna, so once you've saved it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over, no, I don't care. You're gonna head over to create. So you're gonna click create up there. 
and then you're going to select decals. So once you selected decals, you're going to choose file. that you are going that you made so last time so oh my gosh <laughs> i can't speak today so in the the last time i attempted to make this video i made this and this is the one i'm going to be using so i'm going to select it i'm going to go command c now we're going to delete this mesh so you're going to copy the mesh id so command c then delete the mesh. Then make a special mesh and you're gonna in mesh ID you're gonna do command V and put that back. Now in texture ID you're gonna get the texture you made so you're gonna select the whole thing and then you're going to go into studio again and we're about to have it in three two one Boom! We now have our made hat, the hat we made. And boom, it's right here. Wow. So now if you want to actually wear it, you're gonna go over to Toolbox again. And we're gonna find another one. Another one. And it does not have a script. Script, script, oh my, oh my God gosh who makes that oh my gosh okay we have purple 8-bit headphones that are absolutely ginormous okay never mind they're not um no scripts whatever we're gonna search up like dominus or something and we're gonna find so we're gonna find one with a script in it so dominus and make sure the script isn't a virus because that is gonna make them, they're gonna be able to get into your studio, edit it all up, and get you banned. <laughs> so, I suggest using this Dominus Arius. So, I don't know if I said that right, whatever. Copy this script, Command A, Command C, and then you're gonna go in here, make a script, and then in that script, you're gonna do Command V, and boom! Now you're gonna do, change the name to whatever this is called so uh eight bit i'm just gonna name it eight bit headphones okay now we're gonna publish it and option p or alt p and that updated it so now i'm going to add a spawn point so that we're able to spawn right next to it. And boom, all right. All right, there it is. We're about to wear it in three, two, one. Boom, we are now wearing our own hat. This is freaking amazing. This is so cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.